Hey, hey. What's on your chopping board? What, 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 what? What's on your chopping board? What, 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 what? What's on your chopping board? What, 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 what? Okay, today, what's on your chopping board? Today on my chopping board, we're gonna have gumbo. What do you make when what do you make when it's 90 some degrees outside? <laughs> well, guess what I make? I make gumbo. I'm making gumbo today. And I'm gonna show you how I make it in a simple way. Gumbo is my favorite. So I'm gonna take you over here to my pot of gumbo that's getting ready to be very, very tasty. Pay no attention to my stove top. I have some things that's, that's kind of laying around here and there. Do you see what's in that pot? Now in that pot is the base of the gumbo. This is the base of the gumbo. And what do I use? I use gumbo base by Louisiana. Cajun gumbo base. So I add that to my pot with, and it tells you everything on the back. Um, how to uh, add the uh, gumbo base now I know um, now this is just the way I make mine now let's see I'm one of those kind of cooks that likes to cook things and get her done so I can eat so I can feed my children so it tells you in the back system uh, and, uh, and tells you to add two cups I mean two quarts of cold water or chicken stock so you can do one of the two you can do the cold water you can do the chicken stock and so this is my gumbo base okay so you can add the chicken stock to it or the two quarts of water of course I added the two quarts of water in there I also went ahead and mixed up some put, put some gravy in there and I used my whip or whip it whip it I used my and I stirred it up in there and I'm letting it cook on low then I'm getting ready to add my chicken. Now this is rotisserie chicken that I have deboned. I'm telling you I do it in a way to where it doesn't take long. Add the rotisserie chicken. And then I get a pack of, these are the hardwood smoke original sausage and they're fully cooked. See that fully cooked? I get these, that's what's right here. They're fully cooked. I chop them up. See? I'm telling you, I do it the way where it don't take as long to make it. And it's still good and tasty. Then I'm going to add some shrimp to the gumbo. So the first step is to add the chicken. But you watch me while I add my chicken in here. First step I'm going to do is add me. I don't want to just put it in there. I may splatter. First thing I'm going to do is add me some chicken. So that's the first thing. I After, after my base is made... Then I add the rotisserie chicken. I've taken it off with bone, broken it apart, getting it all nice and tasty hell. I add all of my chicken in there. I'll add that chicken in there. Guys, I'm having to hold the camera with one hand and dip the chicken out with the other, so bear with me. Hey. That's going. I'm telling y'all, I make some good gumbo, and that's just the way I make it. Now I'm just, now I don't criticize me if you don't make yours like this, cause uh, this is the way I make mine. This is what's on my chopping board today. Okay, so we've got the chicken in there cooking. See the chicken in there cooking. Now I'm gonna let the chicken cook for just a little bit, and then, like I said, I'm gonna add the hardwood smoke um, sausages to it let you see that now that's already those are already cooked those links are already cooked as well but I like sometimes I'll cook them just a little bit and then I'll slice them but today I'm gonna go ahead I've already sliced them up see nice and sliced I'm gonna go ahead and add those on to the pot because they're already cooked but I like for them the season to cook into into the pot there so see I'm adding it the, the sausages in there I like for them to cook into the uh, into the gumbo base the flavor into the meat is what makes it taste so good when you bite when you bite into it you have this good flavor of every bite and so then 
Also, if you can tell, I kind of sliced these, these links up to where they're, they're, they're bite sizes. See? They're bite sizes. So when you um, bite into them, they're, they're um, going to be seasoned just right. So going to let those cook for a little while. And let the chicken and the sausages cook for a little while, okay? All right, see there? Letting it cook. So, so here's my shrimp. See? You can get the larger ones. You can get medium size. And these are the, uh, these do have the tail off. And they're already cooked. See, I try to do it where it's not already cooked. So I'm going to take these and wash these. And I'm actually going to set them aside. I'm not going to put them in there because I have to make two things of gumbo. I have to make one with shrimp and one without shrimp. 